is up guys I am connected to SC let me show you what I got going on here uh, VAV system two rooftops and this is running 65,000 inches of static so either the duct is gone or that's a bad number let's go see what we got and see if we can take care of this <laughs> So this one was kind of a weird one. I didn't get anything on the diagnosis. I had somebody with me, but it's actually running now. Somebody prior to me coming out had found it froze up. Uh, and what had happened, is, let me get this panel off and I'll show you, but uh, rain, Rainbird, the piece broke off the back of it. So it was shoved in there and you can see the red piece in there. There was moisture that got down in this tube into the pressure transducer. So I've got some parts here. We're gonna get all this changed out and uh, see if we can't get this thing reading right. So the first call, I think this actually froze up, but BFD for the blower motor, it's controlled off static pressure. So let's go ahead and kill the power. When it can't read its static pressure, what does it do? It ramps the blower all the way down to a minimum, minimum speed. I don't know what that hertz speed is on the motor, but it was basically just running low speed. It's actually not froze up today. It's been doing good. Yeah, we only had one stage running. Um, it's done okay. It took a couple weeks to get uh, the parts in. But it hadn't read static pressure for a while. What happened was I got here. This is our static pressure transducer. And I've got water in the damn thing again. We need to get rid of all this tubing, but I don't know how well you can see, but there's there's water inside of that tubing. And in turn inside my pressure transducer. I tried to blow the tubing out and uh, get it to work when I was here on the call, but it wouldn't, it was not gonna act right. So, new Rainbird, new tubing here. I think all this was pulled down. It's a, uh, I think, I think I put the loop in it because you should have something here to keep that moisture from getting down here and then I don't think this has really got any moisture in it. It just goes from there to here. This is sealed and there's a tiny hole right inside here and this is where it reads the supplier static which is over there. So I got the old one out. You can see on the pins. I don't know well y'all can see but there is some corrosion inside there. I mean I tried blowing this out and getting the water out of it but it was like full of water I'm sure there's still water inside of it so it's no good the new one's gonna plug in just the same right here so we'll get that plugged in get our tubing rerouted I cleaned all the tubing out the last time it looked like it still had some moisture in it I might uh, I'm either gonna take all of this tubing down doesn't look awful might take all of it down and clean it up blow it out with some dry nitrogen just to make sure it's dry I can use this tubing looks a little smaller and if you read the directions on this uh, the rainbird deal it says to use all of the tubing just coil it I mean, all of the tubing why give me like 50 feet of tubing and tell me to use all of it I don't I can't imagine I'm I'm not coiling 50 foot of tubing up right here to plug it into the side. I am, we'll have a drip leg of some sort to make sure that water does not get in to here again and back down to there, because we don't want that. And if I have to, I might be able to run excess tubing on the inside. I should be able to use that same tubing, just because this has gotten 
kind of loose and it shouldn't affect me too much but anyways we will do all that uh, get my rain bird mounted then we'll go down and see if this guy will work right rain birds installed you can see on the old one this comes separate and it just plugs in it's got a little seal and this is just an outdoor reference for pressure uh, it does have two ports we're using this port the port on the bottom's actually got it's like silicone or something um, I'm not sure why they have two ports on them but anyways these will break over time they're just plastic they should probably make them out of something a little better but uh, you got to keep these clear make sure uh, you'll throw things off static pressure will do weird stuff if it gets covered in ice uh, in the winter time or uh, you know spiders get up in here and block the block the flow it can't read right I was gonna try to reuse this it doesn't look like moisture but just because of the moisture that was in there it's it's got gunk all down inside this tubing I like having this clear tubing because you can clearly see when you've got moisture um, but this one looks better so this is the one that actually connects to the, the positive pressure so I'm gonna make sure that this one's clean I'm gonna try to clean this one but the way it looks I'm probably gonna use some excess of that other tubing it's a little smaller but it shouldn't bother me and I'll be able to I'll know it's clean and I'll be able to coil it up to where it won't get any water in it so we'll get this cleaned up and get back to the roof all right so I want everybody's opinion on this I've got just excess coiled uh, the tubing was moved into here when the thing broke and that's I mean this will catch some rain so that's how the moisture got to here and then the tubing had no drip leg or anything so I think it just made its way down to there uh, this tubing just looks nasty and there's crap inside of it so I don't want to reuse it uh, I do have a little drip leg there and I I coiled up some extra here and I coiled up some extra on that side um, this is what's left I'm gonna leave this here just in case we need to replace it or we start having more problems but here it says recommended full length of tubing be used coiled at a convenient location rather than cut off I, I'm not leaving all of this coiled up somewhere I don't see the sense in that um, it shouldn't matter on the outdoor reference, but I definitely don't want to leave a whole excess on the supplier side. So let's clean up some of my mess, cycle this guy back on. We'll go down to the computer and see uh, what we're reading, how we're reading. And hopefully this drive ramps up normally and we can start maintaining static. All right, let's turn it back on. It's probably gonna take a minute. Uh, RT RM. Relitel refrigeration module. OM is the options module. AM is air handling, I believe. It's got all your, if you don't have a BAS, I guess, you've got all supplier set points and reset. And that's your LCI or BCI, depending on the year and the version. That's a communication board there, the red. Some of them are blue, some of the older ones. Um, we're gonna write on our tag. That's that's from when I found it, and we're right on the back that we replaced everything. And this guy should cycle on. We'll listen and see if it sounds different, but we'll go down to the computer and be able to see what uh, what it's running. See if we're actually reading static. All right, now let's see what we got. We're gonna go back to equipment. We'll be able to see both rooftops. There we go. That's more like it. Let's go. I'm going to rooftop too and just look at it. So we're communicating. These yellows are out of service. So we got a mixed air temperature. We're, the set point is 1.9. Supply fan speed 16%. It was pretty cool in here. So most of our VAVs are probably closed down, but the biggest thing is they haven't really had any problems. I'm surprised it didn't lock out again from my last visit. Unless somebody else has been out and reset it.
but the main thing is, is that we're reading duct static. That's gonna be our duct static pressure active, 1.9. That's our set point. Discharge air temperature is 66 right now. It's only 33% cooling, so that'll stage up and try to do 55. I'm sure it's on an outdoor reset and uh, everything else, but all this looks spectacular. We are going to leave it like that. There's our actually yeah, set point 55. So this one's down to temp. I don't know why that set point depends on how they're set up. Those set points can vary, but it's going to try to hit 55. I'm going to go button up on the roof. So easy call. We're back up and running. Um, nothing much else to it. It was pretty easy diagnosis too. As soon as you found the water and the static pressure not reading correctly. Uh, the VAV system is going to operate off of duct static pressure right inside there with that static pressure transducer. Uh, it's got a high and a low. Those are the two ports. Low goes to the outside. High goes to the supply duct. Sometimes it will be mounted in the duct actually. Just depends on the setup. Um, blower modulates off that static pressure and supplier temperature. It just tries to maintain 55 degrees basically year-round until the outdoor temperature drops if you got a reset the reset will reset your temperature up slightly uh, 60 ish usually and that usually maintains in the winter each VAV has electric heat or hot water reheat or some kind of reheat to heat the space if heat is needed most of these commercial buildings need cooling year-round and not so much heat um, that's why they use the the VAV and that's why we can maintain 60 degrees and still able to heat the space. Leave a trade better than you found it. I'll see y'all next time.